Right, we're going to show you how we create a uh, bass line, or one of the ways that we create a bass line within Reason. Um, I think bass lines are the hardest thing of, of any electronic track, whether it be house, trance, techno, drum and bass. I think getting a good bass line is, is the most difficult bit of all, and it's one that I think you know we struggle on, everyone struggles on, it's the thing that we tend to spend most time on. So I'm going to give you just a really quick go through of how we create one from scratch. So I've just created a, a new Reason document here. I've got my arrangement that side again, and my um, uh, uh, rack over here. So I'm just going to create a mixer, and a subtractor analog synth. Now this is a really, it's a fairly rubbish little analog synthesizer with some horrible, like you can hear the noises on it. Uh, and it's, you know, it's, it's, it was one of the original reason synths that's been in there since the start. But you can actually get some really fat stuff out of it. And the way you do that is by messing around, maybe taking on other people's sounds, some of the reason factory sound bank, twiddling it, editing it and making your own, which is what we've done here. So I'm going to open one of our patches up. So I've got our patch here, which is something that we've made, which doesn't sound great to start with, it's just a fairly standard analogy bassy sound. But it's how we affect it that's going to make it a bit more sexy. So I'll just put in a pattern first of all. We usually do that um, just literally by taking the tempo down, whacking the clicker on, and then just keying something in. So that should now be in time. Take the clicker off. Make this into a decent four-bar pattern. So now we can just copy that across. Take the tempo back up to 128. See at the moment that's just a fairly standard, nothing particularly exciting analog bass sound. The next thing that we want to do is add um, some nice little distortion to it. So click on the subtractor, create a screen for distortion, bring up another one of our own patches that we've created ourselves, which is this high fat, and immediately it gives it a bit more grit. It's a lot more dirty. And also, if you play around with the filters on here, you can get something quite exciting. So, even the filters uh, within the screen can can give some quite nice effects. Um, SLs because you can just assign all these knobs, a uh, lot time map it to anything. So if I just touch that, that'll go on, and I can, rather than using the mouse, you can just have it a bit more hands on, which gives it a little bit more sort of creativity. So we've got a nice little sound going there. The next thing we need to do is get that side chain to give it that sort of that little oomph. So we're going to create a side chain from scratch like before. New sampler, whack in a kick. You don't want this kick to play. Hold on, let me do that. I'm going to draw that kick pattern in. What we then want to do is unplug it. So flip the rack round, just like going behind anything else. Unplug that and whack it in to create a spider audio merger. And splitter, whack that into there. Now everything, everything that comes out of this um, sampler now goes into this and the outputs we can take into a compressor. So click back onto the uh, our little bass sound, make a compressor on that, flip the rack around and plug one of the outputs of this kick, drag it into the side chain of this and then this kick Play with the ratio and the threshold. You can see it on uh, on the little game bar here. It'll start to 
get that sucking sound. It's also possible to record the automation mm -hmm. and uh, copy its track just to give the, the bass sound some movement. Anything that I touch in here, so if I touch the subtractor and press record, anything that I do with that will then just record any of the automation on there. So any knobs that I move on here, whether I do it with the mouse or with the uh, with the novation, will be recorded. So hit record. automation on here, the same as you would in Logic or Cubase and uh, you can mess around with that. Right, so we've got quite a decent high bass line there, nice acid little thing going. We need some bottom end though, so we're going to pretty much double that up with more of a sub. So for that, we're going to use the Thor, which is probably one of the, the best uh, synthesizers that's in Reason. It's from the latest edition of Reason um, and you can do some really cool stuff with it. It's got loads of different filters in it three different oscillators. I'm going to use a, I think it's one of our own patches actually, that we've, we've created. Again, just a fairly standard analog sound, but it's all about adding the, uh, the right sort of grip to it and the right sort of compression. So if we copy the same pattern for the high bass onto this. some com uh, side chain compression on that so just create compressor flick it round and take one of the outputs of this uh, uh, that we created earlier and whack it in to the side chain there seem a little bit like haphazard, a little bit slapdash the way we do things, you know, without really analysing things like the EQs and getting all the spectral analysers up. But a lot of the time you just, it seems to be best to use your ears. I mean, you can spend an awful lot of time checking out EQs and seeing where frequencies are, but at the end of the day we know that that sub wants to be slightly lower. Uh, in the bass range and the other one wants to be slightly higher I mean that's kind of all you need to do for a start if you really need to tweak it we do it in the, in the sort of mastering bit at the end but for the way we work it's all about speed so that sounds decent let's move on and you know start getting some some more of the tracker range really simply just to show you how easy it is with the with the Rex loop player we'll just create a Rex loop player over the top have this playing <laughs> stuff saved so I'll just open it. In fact I'll just use Reason's Factory Sound Bank which is what comes with it so if you were to get a copy of Reason for a few hundred quid you'd actually get all this stuff. As long as you've got this on preview here, you play your track it'll play it in time. Give this some high end EQ so we can hear it. sounds decent to track and it's in there it's done again if we want to mess around with it just double click in it you can alter any of these notes we could shift stuff around we take out the kit 